and welcome to Tools to Create a Better Life with myself, Glenice Hughes. Thank you so much for being here. I am so incredibly grateful for you. So yes, it is fall here in Alberta, Canada, and I wanted to get some of the beautiful colors. However, it's also unusually hot. So there is bright sunshine everywhere else. So you get a little bit of colors here. It's very pretty, just take my word for it. It's just all the reds and the golds and some greens. Oh my gosh, how does it get any better? Are you willing to receive the magic from your past lives? Yeah, I know, right? So this is one of the magic tricks that I talk about in my Rich as Fuck course. Something you might want to check out. There's a link above or below. If you don't see one, let me know. In November of 2022, we usually do this once a year. Uh, we're doing a live round of the Rich as Fuck. And there is a price increase. Possibly it's already occurred by the time you're watching this. It depends when you're watching. But if you go to the link, you'll see all the information there. So every Wednesday in November, we're going to get together and do basically a Q&A about each module for everybody who's either taken the course before or has um, joined us recently. How does it get any better? All right. So are you willing to receive from your past lives? Now, th there's a bit of a it's something I want to explain first. So one, we've been and done everything. There is nothing that we haven't been and done. So we have lifetimes where we have been magical with money, where we have been kings and queens and all the things and financial geniuses and on and on and on. Now, of course, we've also been the opposite of those and all the things. So it's not that one is better than the other. It's just that if we recognize we've been all the things, none of it is right or wrong. What are you asking for now that you could actually ask for the capacities from those lifetimes to show up as if by magic? Yeah, so the specific one that we do in the Rich as Fuck course is about, of course, pulling in all of the capacities and energies of you as rich as fuck, whatever that is for you. It might be money, it might be cash, it might be wealth, it might be opulence, it might be who knows? It doesn't matter. But where you're where you're energetically connecting to those lifetimes. And the thing with it is you don't have to figure out what those lifetimes were and when they were and exactly, you know, specifics about them. No, we are so energetically aware that we can just ask, you know, so right now all the lifetimes where you were magical with money. Yeah, the moment I said it, boom, you'd already tapped into it. And now just invite all of those energies to you now. Yeah, yeah. All of the lifetimes that you were a financial genius. Yeah, there you go. Bring all that in now. So it's recognizing a couple things. One, it's we are energetic. So energy is our first language. So energetically, we've been and done all the things. Now, what we often do, though, is we, we, we choose separation. So we separate from the, the lifetime that, you know, that lifetime is over. And now we move on to the next one. And we and we separate rather than recognizing we're oneness. We be oneness, which means we can receive from everything. And what if we did? Like, what if we truly did? What if we received from these beautiful trees? Yeah. And what if we receive from, there's some logs over there that, that are, are um, just cut up and, and waiting to be used for the fire at some point. What if we receive from those? And there's probably a lot of animal shit around here. What if we receive from th that too? So again, we go back to not making anything right or wrong not judging anything going I'm only going to receive from um, you know the, the bright sunshine and the beautiful trees but I won't receive from from the deer shit <laughs> what if we can receive from it all and again with asking in terms of our our lifetimes and our uh, lifetimes that we've been what we're asking for now yeah absolutely request that 
be that, receive from that now, but not from that separation of, okay, I'm only going to receive that and I can't receive anything else. What if you can? What if you actually be infinite receiving? (sighs) Yeah, yeah. So bring to mind something that you would like to receive more of. Now, it could be money, of course. It could be cash or wealth or opulence. It could be joy. It could be infinite possibilities. It could be kindness. It could be magic, miraculousness, whatever. It doesn't matter what it is. But just bring to mind that now. So we're actually traveling tomorrow. We're off to England tomorrow. Now, by the time this airs, it'll be about mid-October. We'll have been there for a couple of weeks. Uh, but I am just recording a few to, to ensure that we've got them. So that I will do, of course, some while I'm in England. But just want to make sure we've got, got some here. And so for me, what I'm kind of being present with right now is just the ease with travel. You know, so when I'm asking that, like ease with travel, not defining what that is. So ease with travel means we're on time and means we're get our suitcases and all those things. Of course, I would love that. (laughs) I would love that. And what I know is there's so much more magic when we ask more energetically than specifically, because usually specifically what we've done is we've added uh, there's a there's a judgment on there. There's a conclusion on there. Like if we arrive on time, then this will happen, which isn't the case all the time. Or you know maybe my body doesn't want to get on the airplane, so we get late, and that would be more of the gift than being early. Like just to give you an idea, and I'm being extreme, of course, but really just to start to recognize that if we ask for like ease with the travel, ease with the travel might mean we don't get to the airport. It might mean we do get to the airport. I mean, there's a bazillion things, right? But you get the idea. So we want to open it up a little bit more, more energetic with that. And, and so, you know, as we're, as I was just saying, you know, what would you like? So I'm looking at that. It's like, yeah, ease with the travel. Yeah. Yeah. And so as soon as I become aware of that, there's all of these energies. Now, how can I not ask for that? is or like let's say ask for the opposite and not that I want you to use this guys but I want to give you the idea or remind you I suppose is that I could go into oh my gosh while we're traveling and we haven't traveled in a few years and it's going to be hard and we're we're going to be late it's going to be hard we were gonna right that's how we create what we don't want and then we go see I told you (laughs) we get to prove ourselves right rather than okay what would I like Okay, ease with travel. So that every time I think about traveling, I get to go to that energy. What would I like here? Oh, ease with traveling. Without uh, judgment of what that should look like or uh, the decision of what that would look like. I'm not sure if it's showing up on your video, but I think like with the sun being back there somewhere, it looks like it's purple above my head there. Gosh, that's pretty. (laughs) Squirrel. And hopefully you guys can see it too. I'm not sure. Anyway, I can. It's beautiful. Take my word for it. Um, And so if you're not watching this, if you're listening uh, to the podcast, I apologize for talking about something in the video, but it's just really magical. So there we go. So we get to ask for what we would like, but what we want to do, not but, and what we want to do is make sure we're putting our energy into that. It's, It's such... A habit, and I'm going to speak for myself here, it's such a habit to go down the road of, well, we haven't traveled in a long time and it's going to be hard and there's going to be this problem and this one. That's asking too. So if you put your energy into what you would like, yeah, yeah. Now, how can you use your past lives with this is same with same with what we did earlier, but looking at that energy. So, you know, all all the lifetimes where I chose ease with travel. Yeah, I'm receiving it now. Yeah. I like that. I like that. Yeah. So it's it's just that simple, guys. If you're willing to put your creative capacities into something you would like, rather than the drama trauma of what you wouldn't like. So have a great week, sweet friends, and I look forward to chatting again next week.